In this video, I'm going to be unboxing my new dermal camera. And I had a floor before, but the problem the floor was it was only 80 by 80. You know, and you really, when working on components on smaller SMD boards and stuff, it was hard to narrow down which component exactly was heating up and stuff like that. And even though it had a visible light camera too in it, it didn't necessarily align properly. So it was kind of useless in that regard. And, you know, you can narrow it down to the area. Let's say, for example, you're trying to find a shorted capacitor or a shorted dial or whatever on the board. And you don't want to spend hours, you know, testing it. Well, one way we used to do it was with free spray or you use alcohol and wherever it evaporate, then that will kind of narrow down where the shorted component is from the heat and stuff like that. Well, then now you have infrared cameras and stuff like that that can do it. And thankfully, over the years, these had come down in price by a lot, pretty much. Not the Fleurs, necessarily, but you got other brands selling them. And this one here is the Top Don TC005. Now, I know this is going to be a good one because a friend of mine has the 004, which I borrowed to work on the board. And thankfully, that one actually helped me, and I was able to narrow down the problem very quickly instead of having to spend hours you know, tracing down where the issue is and stuff like that. I was able to look at the board. I saw the capacitor that heated up. It, and then I was able to narrow it down to exactly the component it was because it highlighted really easily. And from there, I was able to remove the component and get the bird going again. So I decided to invest in myself one. So I decided to buy the 005, which this is the same as the 004, except this has the additional visible light camera in it too as well. So... I decided to get this model instead, so we're going to be unboxing it. And then here you go. We're going to open her up. Here's what comes in the box. Of course, you get the carrying pouch. You get a calibration certificate too, huh? What's this here? Product certificate. Well, they actually do testing and stuff. I know it comes with a micro SD card. Oh, 16 gigabytes. Okay. Here you go, you get, oops, well, that is the charger. It looks actually pretty, got some weight to it, so it doesn't look bad. You can see the camera itself, which this is the main part here, and try not to drop it. And you know, yeah, it feels the same. It actually feels pretty good. And then there you go, got the visual light camera, the infrared, and then I'm not sure what those are top, probably LEDs, but. On top here, you got where the SD card goes and probably where you charge it because it got an internal battery. And then there's your tripod mount. There's your screen and buttons. And the way this feels, it feels really good. It's a little bit heavy in the hand, but, you know, it feels quality. And like I said, I like the 004. It feels pretty much the same, of course. But, you know, these actually feel real good. The thing I like about this one, though, is it got actual true res, what it says right there, which is... 256 by 192 infrared sensor so it makes it very usable to see actually individual components and stuff like that on the board when you're troubleshooting especially when you're trying to find a shorted component on the board and you don't want to have to take your multimeter and go ahead and trace down and try to narrow it down can sometimes become a pain in the butt or having to remove components and so forth this helps a lot it's a very useful tool when you're working on SMD components and stuff like that. Let's see if it has any power in it. Or do I gotta charge it up? Yeah, looks like it gets a charge on it for sure. Let's see how much of a charge though. And then there's the visible light camera. So, here you go. We'll let it initialize. Come on. And I'll be right back once it's, once I'm done setting this up pretty much. Huh? So I got past the setup screen and here it is on fully now. And you can see right there. This is just IR only by the way. This isn't with the um, visible camera on. If you want to go in switch mode you can go to view mode. And then you can switch it with both. You can switch it with picture in picture. You can switch it with just the visible light camera only and of course for the alignment so that's the good thing about it, it got to different modes you can also change colors and do all kinds of stuff but 
you know, you can see right there, the IR performance is very good. Much better than that 80 by 80 that's for sure. You can actually see the buttons and the jacks and stuff on this one. Like I said, I have used this on a board repair, at least the 004. And I was narrow, and I was able to narrow it down to the capacitor I was short that was glowing out of all the components. I was able to pick it off the board, and it fixed the board, of course. So this is going to be a very good troubleshooting tool, pretty much, when you're trying to find shorted components on an SMD board. And you don't want to have to, you know, go through and trace out and so forth and have to spend hours trying to locate the bad component when you could probably save yourself a lot of time with this. And IR cameras have helped me in the past in doing that, but this one's definitely going to help much more, being the fact that it'll be able to see individual components on the board as they heat up and I'll be able to narrow it down instead just to an area of the board. And here you go. You can see there, I'll go and show some on. This is just, like I said, IR only, not the visible camera. And you can see right there, you can see that front panel and stuff where I couldn't even make that out with the 80 by 80. And then here, we'll go to different view modes. Actually, not the, we're not going to do that right now. We're just going to go into the view modes. And there you go. You can do picture in picture, you can do visible, and you can also adjust the alignment and stuff, which is nice. I'll play around with it more before I do a full review of it. Then here you got your palettes and stuff like that. Like you can change, like I said, to the different, you know, colors if you want to make it stand out and stuff like that. You know, huh? There's different modules. I just keep it on iron, but we'll go back to iron. And there you go. And this is going to be a very useful tool. I do recommend any technician that's working on a lot of SMD stuff. To definitely pick up one of these, they've gone to the point where you can get one of these for about 370 bucks or so with the visible camera. Of course, you can get the model without the camera and get them a little bit cheaper. And they're even coming down more in price because I'm starting to see different now other models and stuff like that. And these are actually really good. These are doing their true resolution as they claim. It's not no scam or fake. So it's actually doing its tr um, true rating and stuff like that. And it's built pretty well too. It's nice and heavy. It feels good in the hand. And of course, you got the trigger where you can take pictures and snapshots and stuff like that. But most people that are probably going to be watching this video are going to be into electronics. And they're going to be using it probably to narrow down shorted components on boards and so forth. So, very good, useful tool to have on your workbench. So, this concludes the video of the Top Don TC005. So here's going to be our two test subjects. I figure let's go ahead and see how well it does with a bird. <laughs> oh, baby bird. And yeah, it picks up pretty good detail. I'm actually quite surprised. They're probably like wondering what you're doing. They're looking right at me. <laughs> yeah, well, you can see it picks up their eyes, everything. Oh, pretty cool, actually. How's this look on there? Feathers and stuff. Yeah, you can pick up the heat, the outline, and everything. Does exactly what a dermal camera should be. It's actually much, much better than that 80 by 80 because 80 by 80 you couldn't see this much detail. It would look like a blob, pretty much. Right, baby bird. Now let's do one thing we have to do, which is the. Okay, I'm gonna go and put my hand right there right now. You can see nothing's been on this table, so I'm gonna put my hand there and see if we can see the handprint. We have to do this. I'm going to put the camera down real quick. Put my hand right down there. We'll see if we can see fingerprints or anything. So there you go. And yeah. So that did a pretty good job there. So yeah, thermal cameras are actually pretty fun. Pretty much. But there you go pretty much. And then of course we'll go back to Bird. And she's like... <laughs> got startled but you can see the detail on that it's pretty cool actually okay there you go so i guess this concludes the overview of this thermal camera pretty much